the suck shame posting or i'm sorry welcome everyone to the suck bonus episode you're not in our facebook group right now you're listening to an extra episode that you've paid for um so thank you for that we really appreciate you you. Mm -hmm. um i so i wanted to talk about this because i went to see ghostbusters on i went to go see ghostbusters on friday the new ghostbusters i'm a huge ghostbusters fan as a kid i grew up watching the first two movies did they have a Uh, cup that you could fuck also (laughs) Like Dune. <laughs> is that a thing for real? I thought you were joking. What are they? Wait, yeah, the, the Dune limited edition Dune sand sandworm. Um, right, I saw worm. that, but is there one for Ghostbusters? That's what I was saying. That's what I was asking you. Is, no. is there There's like a, a slimer, slimer one you can fuck? Yeah, yeah slimer. Yeah, I would. Oh, I, yeah, extra I think sloppy. Any slimer toy functions as. A I would just fuck the yeah. shit out of slimer. Lead, that dude looks so. Slushy. Slushy. Mm. You got the tongue sticking out. Really fantastic texture for fucking. He probably gives amazing sloppy toppy. I'm just saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> it's, tr- it's true well, and, you thinking. know in a true in a true uh like 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 uh like like uh couldn't uh connoisseur uh type of voice exactly exactly <laughs> very helpful well okay so i don't want to get too much into the movie because it's sunday after it just came out and it's mm. you know you got to give people time to watch it before you talk too much about it but i i, I love this post that kind of summed up a lot of the feelings i have um not only seeing this movie but um there was a preview for the new Beetlejuice sequel, which is like, mm. this is just the thing that you do now is you reboot shit that was, you know, 40, 30, 20 years ago. For instance, yeah. X-Men 97. Or you make a sequel that no one needed. Or right. you make a sequel that no one needed. Right. That's kind of what I mean. But this yeah. post is from a, a Facebook uh, user, AJ London, that says, what is with comedies like Ghostbusters and Beetlejuice having these legacy sequels that are overly serious that treat the source, like some nostalgic relic to be honored. It's like I'm viewing mm-hmm. someone worship their own Funko Pop. <laughs> 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 Which I just thought was so perfect because okay. it's 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 super annoying. I feel like there's a certain amount you can get away with it. Like so Ghostbusters already did like a proper through line sequel with Afterlife, right? There was a there was one before that which was like Answer the Call or something like that that had the whole women cast mm-hmm. uh, as mm-hmm. Ghostbusters. And that wasn't like a proper sequel so much, uh, in my understanding. But the, the, these two movies, Afterlife and now the one that came out, Frozen Empire, are, you know, proper, like they exist in the same timeline sequels. And mm-hmm. it's just super annoying. Like, if you're going to do that, if you're going to carry something through after so many years, like, I get it. You can do the fan service thing. I'm OK with that. Like, the first Star Wars was like the, the first Star Wars of the new trilogy was like deeply fan service. And it was kind of fun because you're like, oh, wow, you know, it's been so long since yeah. they've done this and this is a proper follow up. And then if you just keep doing it, you're kind of like, what is the fucking point here? Like, I'm just I will just go watch the old movie. It was good. I don't need to right. watch a movie about how the old movie made me feel like <laughs> do yeah. something fun. Like, what is the point of making more? Like, I don't get it. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like totally in. I'm like totally just not feeling the nostalgia anymore, really. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I'm no, burnt out I, on it. Yeah, I'm very much like I, I want I, new I, shit. I want nothing new anymore <laughs> from anything old except for that 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 kids in the hall season they did for Amazon was really good actually. Oh, wow. But, I've, ne- I've not watched that, but I yeah. remember getting really excited about it and then never watched it. It was good. And it was, you know, it, it was really, you know, it was self-referential. I mean, obviously they just did skits. They used to do in a lot of cases, but like it was self-referential in the right way. Like, you know, it, it was a kind of thing that can be that way, but you can't really split the difference between like, you know, just worshiping the Funko Pops, like taking an old like comedy that is trashy and, you know, is 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 such a like a cult favorite or whatever because it's trashy and then turn it into this like, you know, reverent sort of dramedy thing. And then like you, you can't really like you can't carry it on that way. I don't think it's like you've got you've got like a like this old decorated um officer of uh you know the the last surviving officer from uh you know world war ii or whatever sitting in the audience at a at a at a beetlejuice screening going nice fucking model indeed honk honk (laughs) (laughs) and it's like (laughs) just just do if you're gonna do it do another funny movie and if you don't have a funny movie and you just like 
drop it. Well, you know, it's like you hate to feel like you're living perpetually in that Leo DiCaprio meme where he's pointing at the screen and it's like, (laughs) that's all the media experience is anymore. That's all Uh like, you know, if you have any (laughs) sort of love for a a franchise, you just want to go point at the screen and go, he said, Boston makes me feel good. He just (laughs) fucking said it. He said it. I I just busted from it because I love busting too. (laughs) It's like you're witnessing people who have witnessed you witness it witness it again or something <laughs> it's like it it, it 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 the feeling has just it's been fucked up feedback loop yeah yeah, yeah jerking yeah. each and other off Ugh. Is, is are we nostalgia poisoned at this point is that what's happening like yeah i think we got there and we were trying to recover from it but i don't think the like you know like the movie industry has gotten that message i think um, i heard yesterday or the day before yesterday they're making it happy gilmore 2 oh i saw that yeah <sighs> of course they are well i mean Sure. That's all Adam Sandler does is make the shittiest movie he can come up with next. Like, uh, I am a... how can I make a shittier movie, guys? How can and take all of us on vacation to Hawaii while we? <laughs> yeah, it's hey, it's yeah, it's 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 a uh, it, Happy Gilmore too, and he's for some reason golfing in uh you know Sao Paulo or something like I don't know <laughs> some like. Thailand, just to make it weird, where you see Adam Sandler at the ATM with the, like, no, no, that shouldn't be in the movie. Yeah, he does, he does it. Yeah, he does a Happy Gilmore sex terror uh, terrorism, (laughs) tourism, sex Sex terrorism. terrorism. (laughs) I mean, again, what is what real difference is there? Um, Wow. (laughs) I don't know if he needs money or so. I haven't. Have you? Have any of you seen the movie where he he goes? where he goes to space and is hanging out with a giant spider. <laughs> oh, I did not no. see it. No, this is it called like Spaceman or the Astronaut or something? I forget. Yeah, I want to watch it because he's like recently divorced and he's like having like deep conversations with a spider in space. So that just I don't I don't think it's supposed to be a comedy. <laughs> well, I've, I did hear that there is a, a space movie that he did that's supposedly good, which I can only assume is that Probably one. I just didn't one. hear anything about talking to a spider. Yeah, like what? A giant spider in space. The thing is, I like Adam Sandler when he like actually gives a shit about a movie he's yeah. doing. He's fantastic in it. Like, Uncut I mean, just, gems. oh yeah, I mean, he's great yeah. in that. He's great in Punch Drunk Love. Love. So was really good like in Funny other... People too, which is also a pretty mm-hmm. good movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Just, he does, he, it's like a sea of garbage, though. You know, and then it's like a couple of like islands of good shit that he did. But. It's funny because Uncut Gems is also like technically a remake of uh, Night in the City. Which also had a remake in the eighties. Nine in the City was like nineteen fifty, and Nine in the City remake was like in I think eighty something with Robert De Niro. And then Uncut Gems is like just like Nine in the City, but it's not called Nine in the City. Oh, <laughs> it's just strange. No, no, it's no, like no. they got the script and they're just like, okay, just change it up a little bit. Huh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I had no idea. I don't really hold Adam Sandler to too high of a bar because he's the guy that like I, in you know, I became a fan of his because of things like you know lunch lady land and uh you know at a medium piece of, pace piece of shit or, car yeah i mean oh, i'm yeah. like the guy's a fucking idiot he's hilarious he's great like but you know it's just like sometimes it's like that that comedic mind doesn't need to be put into a two-hour not our 90 minute you know movie for that netflix is no yeah, yeah 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 i'm like right. can you just sing a song for me uh your piece of shit car like that that's enough for me the three Hanukkah minutes song. that's great and i mean happy gilmore was good but like again I don't need a second one. <laughs> no. no, it's just too it's late. late. Carl, it's too Carl, late. We- yes, it's too late. Yeah. Carl Weathers died. It's too Bob fucking Barker's late. Dead. Yeah. Bob Barker, yeah. Man, we just don't need it. Just like make another, make a different movie. Make another movie. Do something new. Like I don't need. Yeah. It. Do like, a do an idiot who plays baseball or something. Do a like, brand new it. idiot. I think he already did do that. Yeah, yeah. Do, do Big Daddy too, where the the, the twin brothers. Uh, I don't know, adopted a kid. <laughs> <laughs> the water boy too yeah oh yeah water boy too i now pronounce you chuck and larry too yeah there you <laughs> oh go oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah and this one they're in a poly <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> extra homophobic yeah i now pronounce you chuck and larry and david and paul and mark <laughs> i just hope they get around to another paul blart movie before it's too late you know definitely gotta <laughs> oh yeah Make, yeah, I, yeah. I think it's great. Happy, that, Happy Madison, come on. We need you churning out more <laughs> shit. I think the thing that's weird is that it seems like, uh, oh, this would never happen at this point. So that's a good reason to do it because it's been 
40 years let's go ahead and make another ghostbusters movie you know i'm like yeah we'll scare people into the theater before they even realize what hit them they're in the theater they're like oh i had to see- oh shit why am i seeing this this is gonna be terrible <laughs> i mean i'll go see all the shit i'm i'm the worst yeah. for it um and and you know what are you gonna do we're, we're nostalgia, nostalgia bait nostalgia poison um it's just yeah i don't know when it'll stop i think all the millennials will have to not have money anymore we'll have to be <laughs> usurped by you know zoomers that they are the ones with the spending power and hopefully they don't go for <laughs> nostalgia bait but i want to know who put on the sh- the show notes stop taking rage bait and oh, why no. like what <laughs> that was me i was just like i added that initially just in case we didn't have anything to talk about but i was <laughs> i just wanted to make like a formal announcement to everybody especially the people who listen to this podcast if you see something that makes you mad if you see something just like truly offensive and stupid coming from somebody don't don't share it and then say it's because you're sharing it it'd be like oh this guy's stupid it's like okay but you don't need to (laughs) share it you can just block him you can just ignore that guy extra long balls baldo is not stupid all right (laughs) (laughs) you just just ignore it you just block that guy and then move on you don't have to think you can hate people without telling everybody else they hate that person i do it all the time it is really crazy though like (laughs) first off it is hard sometimes because it's like it's like if you're on social media often um it's it feels like if you're in a bad mood or something like that, uh-huh. you know, for, like for a totally unrelated reason, it's just like you could get sucked into it. And if it's, it's, it's always there to get you when you're in a mindset to engage with it. Cause I like know. nine, I, I mean, maybe you guys are the same way, but it's, I mean, yeah, I'm sure you have to be else. You'd just be online. You, you'd be engaging in this shit 24 seven, but like, you know, 99% of it, I'm just like, ah, oh, guys, yeah, there's a moron. You know, right. And then it's like, I see something and I'm like, I'm like, I'm having a bad day. Yeah. And, <laughs> This guy's wrong, and he's a moron. And, you know? he and also, he's racist too. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, this guy's gonna be racist. This guy doesn't care. This yeah. guy, like, this person sucks, man. Like, oh, it, yeah. it doesn't matter. And like, at the end of, you know, and it's probably just gonna make you feel worse at the end of the day. And mm-hmm. there's just, there's just no reason for it. It's stupid. Those people want attention. That's why they're posting the dumbass shit. Just do your best to ignore it. If you're having a bad day, I mean, sure, go for it. I know you want to make that person feel stupid. But are you really gonna? Yeah, yeah. My, my personal, my uh, one of my favorite things to engage with is the um, is a Confederate monument pages. That's different. I don't know. I can't help That's myself. Different. I just, I really do love it, and uh, because those people are like the worst people, and they're and they're so dumb. So it's like they're so it's like easy. It's like you can go in there, you just like can pop them easily with just like basic history lessons, you know, like the most rude. But they don't care, you know, and I'm not helping anything. But it makes me feel good to call them morons. Yeah. <laughs> so right, right. in that way, it's good for me. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. I feel like that's different though than just like a shit poster who's like purposefully trying to get traction. Uh-huh. No, to totally agree. But the thing is, is that those pages, and they're not the only pages doing that, is that they want haters like me to engage with them mm. because that gives them reach. And they'll mm. even they even say as much, you know, because that they don't have a whole lot of they're not. No, they got like three brain cells that they got firing. So it's just like, thanks for the comment, bud. This is great for my page. It's like, oh, okay, I you're like probably that. right, but I don't care. It's like, oh yeah, the, the another another young woke is attacking us. We're always being attacked. Yeah, 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 yeah. The victim mentality and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you brought it up because I saw some stuff. This maybe it wasn't this week. Maybe it was last week. But yeah, definitely a particular person who I won't call out because it would give them more reach. But, um, yeah, it's just impressive to me that there's like a whole like layer of, I don't know if it's weird Facebook or whatever, of people who just post that kind of bait stuff that like solely exist. Like maybe they have other accounts where they don't, but like they have an account where they just post solely just like, how can I be the most horrendous poster today that (laughs) all my engagement will just be negative, you know, uh, vacuum of people dunking on me for like, literally they'll be like, you know, giving bait to be called a, a pedophile or something. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, yeah. uh, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. That was your play today? Like, I'll go be uh, accused of being a pedophile. That'll be a good for my reach. Today. <laughs> yeah. What I need to do, what I need to do is start a an, an ephebophile versus pedophile argument that lasts 
I would say at least 17 hours. Let's get into the weeds here. If I can achieve that, then I I have really struck (laughs) oil. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. That's like a whole brand of person, you know? I mean, like the the Facebook villain. I've always called them Facebook villains, you know, where (laughs) it's like they, you know, like they just like, yeah, it's, but then like, I feel like. (laughs) I feel like that's how they see themselves, though, where right. it's like, I, exactly. I'm like, I don't care what you say, and I don't care about you. I also find this, and I find this an annoying trait of, like, it's a, a certain type of people, from, of a person from New York, who's like, <laughs> the city, rather, and they're just like, they can be really insufferable. And they're like, and that, because that's a whole brand of poster from New York, is, is just like, I'm a hater. Like, I'm a hater in a way that is, like, de- malicious as hell. Like, sure. and it's just like, for me, it's just like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I ne- I've never like, I've never understood the wanting and like being proud of being petty, like being as petty and like shitty as possible. It's just like, mm. look, everybody's like petty sometimes I get it. And it's like, sometimes it's funny to like, be like, oh, you know, we've all been there before. And like, you know, re- recognize like, Hey, oh, I did this petty thing and making a joke about it. As, like as like a collective thing, like, oh, don't we all engage in this shitty petty thing sometimes mm. but then the people is like no my personality is that is that is that anything <laughs> that is bad is like i just i just indulge in it i just wallow in being awful and i don't get it and i hate it i hate i really hate that type of person uh, yeah. yeah yeah i don't know man yeah. i mean i'm definitely a hater <laughs> no, dude, everybody on this podcast is a hater everybody who, who right. does it was it was it was, it, it was funny is a hater to some degree it, right. there's no other way to do it because it's, it's like a small fraction i think of who well, we are right yes I- yeah yeah that's not all you are right it's like it's like you oh i enjoy things i uh you know i like this or i i don't like this aspect of it but i don't hate it entirely or some, something's a hate entirely. Right. let me ask you something because i was thinking about this today like that the the people that i'm most comfortable with is the people that i'll probably be like not like intentionally rude, but I guess I just feel like we have like a safe zone where I can just kind of like talk off the cuff. And like, you know, sometimes I'll think back on conversations like, oh, yeah, well, that person is my friend. But like, you know, that like I was probably being too uh, trusting that like they would take this with the best interpretation. You mm-hmm. know, like maybe, maybe that comment is not actually enjoyable for that person because they weren't, you know, they, they weren't having a great day or they weren't thinking of it in the same way. And I also heard Matt and Ashley describe just like people in New York, how like they don't um, like the niceties, you know, like uh, are not uh, there because they don't they don't have time for it. But the people are kind. Like, is there something to this of being a hater that you're just like, I, is there some weird optimism behind it that like humanity can handle <laughs> me at my that's that's kind of like the perspective that i i try to take on it like if i'm hating on something like um it sounds corny but like which direction am i punching like who am i like really disparaging with this like thing that i'm making fun of or i'm being mean to mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah where it's not like shitting on like women or like sex workers or the lgbtq community or you know i'm like making fun of celery you know or whatever it is like it's just like which is uh, off limits right uh, it's god forbid you know and then um but but i try to be you know I'd, sometimes i'm i fail and sometimes i'm too negative and i get that but like some of i'm not doing it specifically so you know women will want to kill me you know <laughs> yeah I, I, I definitely <laughs> I, I definitely have to be i i've, le- I've learned to be uh, less careless in what yeah. I say, I think I, you know, like, because, you know, I think when I started shitposting, I, I was like, I would just say whatever the fuck, you know? And also I didn't have a lot of like, I don't know. I didn't like, I didn't think about what I said too much, you know? And, uh, yeah, yeah. but then you see how I, I started to see how like the things that I said would impact people or like impact, um, like, a you know, the, like the shitposting community for like very, very cringe term, but you know what I mean? Like just like the generic. Yeah, community. I do know. What and I'd mean. see people like, you know, like take saying, like taking my posts in a way that I didn't really intend for it. And then it like spawning all this discourse about of like, as if I'm like agreeing with them. And it's like, I have to be, I learned to be like, oh no, no, I'm doing a joke about, hey, wouldn't it be dumb if I, wouldn't there, wouldn't it be hilarious if there was a guy that said this? And they're like, no, this is, yes, this is the thing that I like. I like that you said, I'm this guy, I'm that guy. You know, well, it's like, whoa, no, that's not what I mean. And now I have to make it more obvious, you know, or try to yeah. make it more obvious that I'm like, this is not 
okay. Like, it's just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm acting like I'm a moron. Like, that's yeah. the joke, right? We underestimate the likelihood of, of the moron actually existing. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, wait. There is a, that guy. He's here. Well, he's, he's here, here in the room with post. us. Literally. Fuck. <laughs> he's in my comments. He's sharing my post. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. All right. Well, that was an interesting conversation. I'm glad we could <laughs> unpack that a little bit. Um, well, as I, I don't know about the other subjects. So I'm just going to throw this one out there. Um, that there's some fallout that we, we this is a follow up to the Willy Wonka experience, which was just such a beautiful thing to be able to, you know, we had that week of when it was everything, but uh, <laughs> now the guy, the organizer, whose name is apparently Billy Cool says that the event ruined his life. Quote, I've lost my friends. I've lost the love of my life. I was made out to be the face of all evil. And genuinely, th- that's really not the case. Um, he received hundreds and hundreds of hate messages and has been dubbed Willy Wanker. <laughs> which is great. And despite this is the best part. Despite claiming to only use AI for spell checking, the Wonka scripts, because that's what we use AI for is spell checking, right? Because yeah. we don't have that built into every fucking yeah, yeah. word document processing piece <laughs> of shit that, that you use. Uh, it's been uncovered that he has also published 16 AI generated books last summer on Amazon. Last summer. I'm, I'm yeah. like, I hope all this shit is true and that he's not exaggerating because, you know, I'm so <laughs> sick of all these fucking scammers and con men that get away with this shit. You tried scamming children and their parents, dude. Fuck mm. you. Fuck you. Like, you, 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 I'm glad your life is ruined. I'm sorry. I'm not, that's a, this is shouting for like, okay, I hope that you can recover and become like a better person. But like, I'm sorry, man. That sucks, yeah. dude. Like, or it doesn't really suck. It's actually just like, I hope that you see this as divine justice in some way. Yeah. Fuck you, man. No, nah, he definitely doesn't. Why would he see? Why would he see this? You ruined as- my life. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Come on. Well, it's like you ruined your own life by you not even ruined your life, brother. With the with the assistance of AI, <laughs> AI assisted <laughs> life ruining. Yeah, it's it's very close to AI as, as, assisted suicide. So we're it we're increases close. the efficiency to by which you can spiral to the to, to rock bottom by using AI. <laughs> yeah, if you turn that on, you can you can you can set up a set up a, a a bot pretty easily to just like do a do an online meltdown for you. Someone call Sam Altman and let him know this is a feature, uh, not a bug, <laughs> of ChatGPT. You can ruin your life actively and much faster ruin your life speed run 99 (laughs) percent. yeah well you're already on the path you just needed to fuck up harder and faster right apparently so this is how you get it done (laughs) i mean it is funny that you say that man that like you're scamming like children and parents because like as a parent i will say that under capitalism uh, having children is so, you're like the most targeted for scams and shit because it's like so so like a, as an example using an ipad with my kids which we don't really do anymore uh but when we first you know when we only had one kid uh when she was about three i think we started to use it for things like toddler games you know it's mm-hmm. like really nice that oh i'll drag this shape into this other shape and you're learning your shapes which is great but the problem was my younger child who we would never have exposed to the ipad and youtube and all this shit that she is exposed to because she's older so he, we recognized very quickly youtube ipads all that in the younger person's hands are way even more clearly detrimental you're like wow like he does not understand how this shit works at all like he's a hundred like i can't turn on youtube around kindle he's only two now and because what will happen is he'll ask for something that's on youtube i turn on youtube and he sees a thumbnail for something he's already changed his mind about what he wants to watch now he wants to watch that thing that's got a thumbnail you click the thumbnail well the video doesn't have the thumbnail happening as soon as you turn on the video the child doesn't understand that so then you go down this deep dark terrible (laughs) hole of trying to satisfy the child on on youtube Mm -hmm. but then the the way people do it with apps and shit is like oh you're playing this toddler app and it's great and it's like they have this thing that they can click right and they click Mm -hmm. it and it's like oh well now you need to pay for the the rest of the content Ah, in the app yes but it's like it's not even it's not even just pay for the app like oh buy it for 5.99 it's like buy this subscription for 13.99 a month the dlc can access these coloring pages like i'm like this is fucking 
this is so cursed. Like my child just wanted to color this picture of Bluey that looks fun. It's literally what Goldie. This one looks fun. I want to do this. Click. It's locked. Thirteen ninety nine. If you want, I'm like, yeah. The you know, inshittification. Like, that's what it is. Hmm. Age discrimination. No, is no. Inshittification. You've heard. <laughs> oh, it's been going around like that's. This is like a buzzword. You haven't heard this at, at all. No, no we, we've talked about. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Ago, we were talking about inshittification, okay, gotcha. but I mean, I just think it's like this goes back all the way to you know like. Uh, the the 80s and like saturday morning cartoons and how like having commercials uh on these you know tv shows like it it was predatory because the children don't understand and you show them this shit and then they're like i want the fucking lucky charms you know like i gotta have and they they, they, it's it's such a prime uh place to exploit people Mm -hmm. yep that like yeah, I mean, to, to be fair, I think the parents were probably explo- exploited more than the children. I bet no children saw anything about this other than their parents were like, oh, yeah, let's go to this Willy Wonka thing this week. And like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be fair, I think what, from what I've seen in the pictures, my kids probably would have had a fine time. Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I they're young enough. It's like, whatever. Like, Damn. We went to a, we went to an Easter egg hunt this weekend. And this is another prime example of how fucking shitty it is to be to have kids under capitalism is easter egg hunts are just fucking they're just rat races bro it's like the worst thing you can imagine like Mm -hmm. we went to this easter egg hunt it's free put on by the city they have it by age groups right they line you up they say okay ready go five four three two one everyone go and you run out and try to get the eggs and it's like of course it's these little kids my two-year-old four-year-old running as fast as they can to get eggs but like the parents are encouraging and helping them we got to the one for my toddler, my youngest kid, Kendall, like a minute late. There was no fucking eggs, like none mm. whatsoever. Because mm. everyone's just like, oh. yeah. And you realize what they're what they're trying to get is fucking candy. So then now, not only if you have the good experience of getting all the eggs, now you have the problem of your child has seventeen pieces of fucking candy that they want to eat every single piece of it right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like. We're, this everything is so fucking cursed, man. Like, in shitification is not a strong enough term because it's just like, let's celebrate the rebirth of Jesus Christ by yep. fighting. Let's pit children against each other in a literal <laughs> rat race so that they can get processed candy food shit. Yeah. And- <laughs> it's, it's miserable. Yeah. It's so fucked, man. Everything is so cursed. I wish I could have gone to the Willy Wonka thing instead. As well, yeah, I want to meet Willy Wanker. <laughs> Willy, Willy Wanker had great Grandpa Joe uh, energy. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved to go to the Willy Wanker event this weekend. You know, like um, the Oompa Loompa girl seems very pleasant. I've seen yeah, that she's, she's on like nice got her on cameo. That's cameo awesome. now. Yeah, good, good for her. Good for her. She should be making some money off that. If the listeners would like to support us, I think it's three three hundred and fifty dollars. To get a cameo we can't afford that on our budget but <laughs> if y'all would like to support the bonus episode if you would like to tell your friends to support the bonus episode, you're already listening so i can't guilt you into it but uh <laughs> then we'll get a you know we'll get a suck cameo from the oompa loompa girl is that yeah. the uh end shitification of the suck podcast there you go there you go <laughs> make you pay more it's called the suck i mean how much shittier can it get uh, I do before we before we wrap up. I, I do want to uh, do want to issue a retraction about the flip flop group. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, oh. For whatever reason, in the about section of the group, which I just did not read, it says a group for those gay and bi guys who like to wear flip flops. Guys and flip flops means guys who love to wear flip flops, and it means not showing your feet in flip flops or collection of flip flops. <laughs> also, it says please show the guys wearing flip flops. So no, I just, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And and I don't know why I had to sit there for fucking 15 minutes scrolling through guys and flip-flops. To figure it out. Figure it out. Can't, don't know why, Matt. I don't know why that you would do that. No idea. Again, I love the idea that you you were like, I look over and Ashley's looking at Shrek getting railed by a horse cock and she looks over and you're looking at gay and like, bi and they're flip-flops. They and you're just like, why am I looking at this? Ashley, I swear it's... <laughs> Amazing. It's just for I'm doing research for the pod. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. I think that's our episode, bonus episode for this week. Thanks for tuning cool. in. We love you all. Love you. Love Thanks, you. guys. Goodbye. See ya. See ya. Goodbye. Good morning. <laughs>